Do you know AI is now capable of generating a 3D model from an image or a set of images? So if you are an architect and you want to modelize in 3D, maybe an inspiration image, a sketch, or the surrounding of your building, it could be very handy to have this type of technology. Of course, it's not perfect, but it works already and you can start, you can start to use it by yourself to test it. So today I'm going to show you a tool which is free where you can do exactly that to take an image as an input and to get a 3D model as an output. If you are new to this channel, my name is Sebastian. I am an architect and web developer, and I am exploring the possibilities of AI in the field of architecture and construction. So if you are an architect and you want to use AI practically to save time, but also to get more creative, please subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of information that you will learn about AI. So first, I want to show you a platform that you can use for free. So it's not Ill unlimited, but you have uh, some credits as in many uh, uh, AI platforms. And this platform is quite famous. Why? Because it's a place where most people are sharing some open source models. So what is an open source model? Basically, it's a model that you can host by yourself, that you can download and execute in local. But uh, you can also execute it in some platform like uh, Spaces by Huginfess. So to test this use case, you need to create an account on Uginfess. It could be very useful uh, to have an account, for example, uh, even uh, to generate some images. You have many models that are interesting where you can learn. For example, here you can go to image generation, you can test uh, Flux for free and so on. So it's an easy way to see uh, if a model is good for you or not. So today we are going to talk about 3D generation. So let's, uh, let's jump directly in our use case. So here we have, uh, we have some categories. Here you have video generation and here 3D modeling. Uh, there are many of them. Here you have some uh, stars that allow you to know which one is more popular. And here, as you see, if, if I go most like, I, I sort by most like, the most like one is Trey. So Trey is a, a, new, a model uh, which is, uh, was released in December 2024. So it's relatively recent. Uh, and after, uh, the next one are less popular. So let's try this one. So as you see, many of the examples are examples of, uh, of images uh, that are more, uh, let's say, uh, for video game. But uh, don't stop here if you are an architect. It doesn't mean that it uh, only accepts this type of image. But here we can see already what type of image suits better. So here you see that many images are in axonometry. Uh, that they are not uh, really facet, but more uh, images that are in, uh, in kind of 3D, even if they are not really in 3D. So if you have at hand this type of image, you can try. Uh, me, personally, I don't have this image immediately, so I tried with another type of image, and you will see it's not totally uh, bad <laughs> neither. Uh, you also have the, the choice to uh, choose one image or several images. So of course, if you select several images, it's images that are related uh, one uh, between each other, uh, for example, that are different uh, view of the same object. So now we are going to, to choose an image. So currently I have this image at hand, which is a, a building from Kengo Kuma. So it's not, uh, it's yes, it's kind of axonometric. It's like a perspective, but we have a, a view, uh, not a flat view, not a frontal view of this building. So this is great. But uh, there is not only uh, the building of Kengo Kuma, but also, also the building of uh, the surren uh, surrounding. So here you see that immediately after I uh, upload the image, there was a pre-process where all the other aspect of the scene was just removed. So it, it works like a background removal, if you know this type of feature, where uh, the subject is uh, kind of selected. So here he selected the more or less the good thing, except that I, I didn't, uh, maybe I wanted only the building of, of Ken Gokuma, but that, that's not uh, a big deal uh, because uh, it's also interesting, interesting to have the surrounding. So let's see if I have a few options. So here, what I have, uh, what kind of option do I have? I have the seed. So as you know, the seed is exactly the same as in uh, image generation. So it's a way to randomize. By default, the AI model is generating random image. Uh, it means that one image and uh, the second, the same image with the same input could be very different. Different. 
If you want to uh, make the image relatively similar, you have a good result, but you want to fine tune, of course, you can uncheck the randomized seed and select the seed by hand. What, uh, what happened? And after, there is two steps. One step is to generate the, uh, some kind of uh, prelimin preliminary uh, asset. So it's a, a sort of images, uh, which is uh, interpretation of the flat images that I, uh, I give. So here I have, uh, I use a shared uh, platform. Uh, of course, I could be limited at the moment because uh, I use too much the platform. Uh, there is a system where you can uh, subscribe, you can uh, give some credits, but for now you, you don't really need that just to make a, a test and this is really handy. It's not the only platform that allow to use this kind of uh, hosted uh, open source model. Uh, I could show you uh, other platform in other video, but uh, you see it's, um, uh, yeah, it's very handy. So here, what we can see, what we can see is that uh, basically we, we have an image from the frontal view of the building, but it interpreted what is behind. So the interior of the building, etc. cetera. Uh, but we also have a kind of uh, depth map. So I interpret it uh, as, as this, as a depth map. So it means that uh, he interpreted the, like this facade of this building as something curvy, which is not uh, really true. But uh, yeah, I hope you understand a little bit how this uh, this model works. So it interprets from from an image the three D scene. So the more uh, the better the image is at the beginning, the better the scene will be, of course. So now we um, we need to generate the three D itself. So we are, for that we need to say to click on extract GLB. So this is the extracted GLB Gaussian. And after this last process, we will have a 3D model that we can orbit on and check if it is, uh, if it is good for our purpose. So let's, uh, it's, it's relatively fast, 48 seconds. Uh, so it's relatively fast. And maybe it will be, uh, it will be not as fast on your local computer because of course the, co the, the environment of uh, hugging face is highly optimized for AI. So before it finished to generate, let's examine the, the project uh, homepage. So the project is called Trei. Uh, it's a Chinese, uh, Chinese uh, project. So it is open source. It means that there is an online demo. Uh, you can get the code also directly here. And here you have some example of what could be generated. So as you see, it's more some kind of object. And here at the bottom, uh, you have the you have the the image and the 3D uh, the 3D objects that was generated from this image. So, for example, this side is not visible in the original image, and you see that it's uh, perfect, perfectly uh, interpreted. Here, you have a, a switch also where you can see the geometry. So, the okay, it's not perfect, but uh, it's already a good approximation of the of the 3D model. This view is a combination of uh, all the 3D objects that was generated. So of course, it could be really handy for um, for video games because uh, you could generate uh, some uh, some objects uh, quite easily that are really custom. It's not uh, by difference with the prompt to uh, 3D model uh, technique with image you could generate uh, something that is exactly what you want. So let's jump back to our model and it is uh, okay. It is generated. So here what we can can see is uh, okay the the wood structure of uh, this building which is the uh, Asakusa uh, Tokyo uh, tourist uh, tourist office uh, by Kengo Kuma so what is wrong of course <laughs> is uh, this kind of uh, envelope so here we see already this envelope uh, here so this envelope is not very well interpreted after if we go inside the of the building we cannot really go inside of the building, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of flat, but it's not exactly flat. Here we have uh, we have the difference of um, of geometry. Here at each level, you have a, a offset, and this is uh, reflected in the 3D. So I would say it's not perfect at all, but uh, probably the image that I choose is uh, kind of complicated. Uh, maybe uh, try with your own image. I suggest that you use an image which is more simple than that. Uh, maybe a simple house. Uh, you, maybe you could rely in the background removal from the tool, or you can already remove the background so that you could have precisely exactly the building you want. 
so the, that was the, the tool of the day. Uh, I hope it interests you, uh, interested you. And if you have some example to share, please share it in the comment. If you want to discover more AI tool for architecture, please watch this other video where I describe my top tool for architecture using AI. Bye bye. See you in the next video.